were very lucky Dan had a van going all the way to Scotland just when we needed a lift. It was. Dan must think a lot of us. He does. And apparently he told the driver exactly what it is he thinks. Did he tell him where to drop us off? He just told him to take as far as possible. What a nice Dan. What a very nice Dan. So this is Scotland? Near enough. Shouldn't we see Heather? No, there isn't time. We'll give her a ring later. Besides, she'll not want us dropping in. It's the middle of the sporran breeding season. Of course, silly me. She'll have her hands full. Yes. Easily disturbed, you know, our sporrans. We'd better get going. We might miss the ferry. We won't do that. It's massive. Are you sure Jerry the ferry's got our tickets sorted out? Of course he has. He's meeting us down at the harbour. They're all paid for. We've just got to pick them up. Come on. Right. Got to oil it, Barry, before we're allowed on board. Tickets, please. <laughs> Sorry, I've just given a quick service. There you go. Now, where are your tickets? Uh, Jerry, the ferry's got them. But we've got our passports, haven't we, Barry? Yeah. You don't need passports. See, I told you. The brothers chuckle. Now, where are you going? Scotland. Scotland? On this ferry? That's right. Is there a problem? No! no. Oh, good, cos we're off to the Lock Eye Highland Games. We're going to help the Clan McChuckle win the ancient haggis mallet of the young pretender. Yeah, Bonnie Prince Charlie to you. Or should that be the young Charlie, formerly known as Bonnie Pretender? Aye, indeed. Well, I'm Captain Lacken McSlacking, of the Clan McSlacking, and I like a bit of a game myself. Do you? I'm entering the curling competition. I've got my curling tongs in the bag. This, uh, this Jerry the Ferry. What time is he supposed to be giving the tickets to you? Half past twelve. But the ferry leaves at twelve fifteen. Oh dear, oh dear. Now what we're going to do? Well, seeing as how you're off to Scotland to represent the Clan McChuckle, I think I'll be able to help you out. Oh. I'm a couple of sailors short of a crew. Oh ah, yeah? You'd never know to look at you. Now how would you like to work your passage? I'm sorry, we haven't got one with us. No, he means work for our tickets, Barry. We could do that. Good. But there'll be no slacking. Somehow, I didn't think there would be. As long as that's understood. Now, get on board and report to the bosun. All right? And enjoy your trip to, uh, <laughs> To Scotland. Oh, we, uh... <laughs> Will, drive on, Barry. Yourself? Yes, it's me. Who's that? Tis myself, Lacken McSlacken. I was wondering if you know a pair of buckles that go by the name of Chuckle. Ah! I thought so. Never fear, I've. Uh... You've done what? <laughs> I thought you'd like it. I just thought I'd let you know that it's safe here to go to the shops. Uh, I'll have to go now. The ship's about to sail. Bye for new. <laughs> Free! Oh, what a beautiful morning! Oh, what a beautiful day! Free! <laughs> in Bonnie, Scotland. Hey, 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 To the land of the brave and the home of the free. And if it's not free, it'll be reasonable. Exactly. Hoots, Mom. Did I hear an owl, then? No, it was me. I'm practising. They all say hoots in Scotland, you know. Do they? They do. Fancy. Mm. In the words of that famous poet, Robbie Burns, many a mickle max a muckle. Hoots. I think I can hear it now as well. Talking of mackles, did you bring ours with her in case it comes on to rain? That's a thought. It might be the rucksack. You two, get forward. Where do we put the rucksack? Ah! You've got him. Have I? McCoy there, you swabs. I'll muckle your muckle for you. You left your baggage. No, thanks. We're trying to give him up. No, I said baggage. <laughs> he thought he said cabbage. Thanks very much. 
Got all the equipment in here, you know. Equipment? Yes, I told you. I'm going in for the curling competition. I've got my curling tongs and practice wig, and we've got Barry's cabling kilt. Hey! What's this? Ah, this is my Chuckle Mark 1 Super Caber, isn't it, Paul? It is. Hey, right. watch what you're doing, watch it. Watch it. Sorry, I've not done any cabering before. And I've never been cabered before. So stow it. No, actually, I think you throw it. I'll throw you in a minute. I said stow it. Now put that thing somewhere. We're about to set sail. You! Hey, go and see the bosun. And I don't want to hear a Mac peep out of the two of you till we land. Mac peep? I heard that. Pardon? I wonder where we find the bosun. He might be up at the pointy bit. Now. Now can we go up the pointy bit? Seeing as you've asked nicely, come on then. There's two landlubbers are. A vast behind! <laughs> Take no notice, it's not that big. Clear the decks, you're supposed to be working! Pardon? You're supposed to be working! You're supposed... Stay there, I'm coming you! What did he say? He said I look like a prune, I think. Are you deaf or stupid? Neither. I'm Paul and he's Barry. Then what are you doing? We've just been feeding the seagulls. I can see that. Look at the mess they made on my deck. And what are you doing here? Well, Barry wants to see the pointy bit. I did. Well, you know, at the pointy bit. Uh, bow. Now what are you doing? You just said to bow. Never mind what I said. Just stop attacking those seagulls, do. I'm beginning to see that everything I heard about you two was true. Oh, thank you. What have you heard? Never mind what you've heard. If you don't get cracking with a nice slack, and you'll be sorry. That's supposed to be lucky. For some. That's it. I want every inch of this deck scrubbing until every bit is like you. And I want no slacking. I'm warning you, I've got a cat of nine tails in my cabin. Really? What's it called? Tiddles. Well, why don't you go and give it some milk? We can manage here. You'd better, cos I'm in charge of this vessel. And well, I'm in charge where I say goes. And I'm not gonna let a couple of lubbers like you usurp my authority. Captain? What? Mind the... What? So... It's not a who, it's a what. Well, why are they welcoming it here? They're not. You're in the Isle of Man. Hang on, I thought you said this boat went to Loch Eye. I didn't. He did. <laughs> I'm telling you, we followed the map exactly. You follow the red line all the way up to Loch Eye. Hang on. Look. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. Don't know what you about it. It's a nice place. Well, it is a nice place, but when does the ferry go back? You were expecting in Scotland, you see. Ah, Scotland. Ah, oh, well, the ferry goes back again this afternoon. So you may as well enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Have a look around. Look at the old Tower of Refuge. Ever remember? 
This ferry always leaves on time, so no slacking. If you're no here, you'll stay here. Oh, we'll be here. Aye, and dinner forget your ticket. No, we won't for... Tickets? We haven't got any tickets. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, well, no ticket, no trip. Oh, dear, that's not fair, is it, Paul? It's not. <sighs> Where did he go? Don't know. He's down there. Shall we drop him the line? We can't, can we? We don't know his address. Come on. Come back, you satin axe! I'm gonna forget your tickets! And I'll clap you in irons! How are we gonna get home? Don't know. I suppose we could always work our passages again. Don't think so. I know. What? Lots of things. But remember the Chuckle family motto? Which one this time? When us in trouble us, call us Danicus. Hey? Roughly translated, when in trouble, give Dan a ring. He's sure to be able to help. He'll have some contacts out here. Contacts? I never knew he wore glasses. Not those kind of contacts. Contacts in the offshore banking industry. Oh, he did. But he had to give that up because he kept getting his feet wet. No, no, no. He bought some Wellingtons. Come on, let's go and give him a ring. So you see, Dan, that's our problem. Brilliant. should be so keen to buy that old thing. Yeah. Come on now, let's go and buy those tickets. Here you are, Barry. There's your ticket. Now take care of it, cos Dan says he can't get any more. And you know what you're like at losing things. Oh! Oh dear, oh dear. It's gone in the water. Mine hasn't. And you heard what the captain said. No ticket, no trip. Here, let me have a look at that. Ha-ha! Ha-ha what? Just as I thought. This is my ticket. Your ticket's gone in the water. Get out of it. Hey, come back. I was only joking, Barry. Where are you going? I'm going on board. You can't go on board without me. I can. I've got a ticket. Ah, well, I've got an idea how we can both get on board. How? Well, you walk up the gangplank and I'll follow you carrying the bags. They'll think I'm just helping you with your stuff. Then we're on board. I'll hide till we're all at sea. I'm all at sea now. No, you're not. Give me the bags. Here we are. Are you sure you can manage? Come on. Tickets, please, and no slacking. Tickets, please. I don't think he saw us. I think you're right. This calls for a bit of cunning. I don't think I've got any of that. But I have had an idea. What? Why don't we just tell him you've lost your ticket? That's no good. He'll never believe us. No, we'll have to stow away. Hey, he'll clap us in irons. There's nothing wrong with a round of applause. You're right. But how do you propose to execute this elaborate deception? What do you say? I'm not sure. Look, this is what we'll do. Have you still got the kilt? Yes. <laughs> So it's you! That's right. And where's the other one? He's decided to stay on for a bit. He's found a cat with no tail and he's having a look for it for him. Is he now? Oh! And who's this then? This is my Auntie Mona. She's coming on board to see me off. Is she now? Pleased to meet you, ma. Obliged, I'm sure. <laughs> Oops! Yeah. Oh. Oh. Come back here! Come here!
ready when you are! anymore? No! Does that mean we can stay on board ship? You can do what you like. I've had enough. Pardon? You heard me. I'm gonna retire. You can have the whole ship to yourself. Here, take that. Here. And I hope you'll be very happy together. What are you gonna do? Never worry about me. I'm gonna settle down on the Isle of Man. In peace. Do you think we've upset him? Nah, he's just a bit temperamental. They get like that, these old sea dogs, you know. Come on, let's go and let the McChuckles know we're on our way. Hello, Dougal. Oh, sorry, Douglas. I'm just ringing to tell you that we've had a bit of a hiccup, but we're on our way to Scotland now. Pardon? Ah, this is the life. I should have done this years ago. Yes, I suppose those two idiots might have done me a favour in a way. Who knows? If I'd carried on at sea, I might have ended up talking to myself. <laughs> Hello! You! What are you doing here? I've just seen you sail away. Not us. Oh, you'll laugh when we tell you. We made a mistake. Really? Yes. It wasn't the Lock Eye Island Games after all. No, it was the Lock Eye Island Games on the Isle of Man. So we're right to be here in the first place. Now you'll be able to stay and watch us. <laughs> Oh, 